Hello class. Um, what we're going to talk about today is going to be different from everything we've done so far. We're going to introduce the idea of continuous models. So everything that we've talked about so far has been, um, well, we started off talking about discrete um, deterministic models. We talked about discrete stochastic models. And so the idea of a discrete model was that you had specific time steps, right? So the model was this at this point, then this at this point, and this at this point. And so when we moved into empirical modeling, we actually kind of transition from taking a data set, something that had been collected as discrete data, discrete data points, and then building a continuous model from that, a linear equation or an exponential equation or something like that, where we actually have predicted values for every value on the entire continuum, on the entire spectrum, okay? So what we're going to start talking about today is how do we build a continuous model directly from a theoretical model, okay? So for example, um, if you were given uh, a compartmental diagram, say you had something that was modeling population, the variable is x, and we had as input 0.03x, right? Remember, we modeled this as x sub n minus x sub n minus 1 is equal to 0.03x, right? A difference equation. This we call the difference Right? And so what we saw in this particular case, if you remember, is that each time um, we would go to the next step, we would multiply by 1.03, right? Because x sub n would be equal to, I should be x sub n minus 1, um, x sub n would be equal to x sub n minus 1 plus 0.03 x sub n minus 1, so 1.03. And so this gave us exponential growth, right? And we know that exponential growth, we know what the equation for that should look like. Um, but we didn't actually ever go to that, right? So we know that if you've got um, x sub n minus x sub n minus 1 equals 0.03 x sub n minus 1, x sub n is equal to 1.03 times x sub n minus 1, and we know that that gives us um, an exponential equation that x sub n is 1.03 to the n, um, times whatever your x sub 0 is, your initial value, right? And we talked about kind of, um, when we talked about linear recurrences, we did talk about solving something like this. Um, this is a continuous model for the same situation, um, because even though you've got n in here, you could put in any number for n. It doesn't necessarily have to be n equals 1, 2, 3, 4. It could be something like 1.5 or 1.6, okay? And so what we're going to talk about today is kind of a more general model. So obviously in the simple exponential case, we kind of know what the answer is, but what's the more general model for building continuous models, equations, from something like a compartmental diagram, okay? And the answer is that we're going to replace the difference equation with a differential equation, okay? So rather than x sub n minus x sub n minus 1, which represents the change from one step to the other, we're going to replace that with the derivative, right? Because the derivative represents the change from one step to the next. Um, and we're going to say that dx dt is equal to 0.03x, okay? So we can build a differential equation from a compartmental diagram, okay? And so I'm gonna talk about that process um, in general, uh, but it's actually not any harder than it is here, okay? So um, let me go through and kind of talk about that process in general, um, how we build a differential equation from a compartmental diagram 
Um, and then we're going to talk about how we can solve differential equations. Now, just to allay any concerns, and I know not everybody's had differential equations. You've all had Calc 2. All that you'll need are the material from Calc 2. We're going to talk about some other situations related to some of the other things that we've learned. But we are not going to go in-depth into solving differential equations. Um, most of what we're going to do is have the differential equation solved by a computer like Wolfram Alpha in this class because we're more interested in the models and what they look like than in the details of how you solve differential equations. Okay? So let's talk about building these um, differential equations from a compartmental diagram. So say you've got a compartmental diagram um, for some variable x. You've got values coming in. Um, you've got values going out, right? And so your differential equation, in the same way that you built a difference equation by just taking x sub n minus x sub n minus 1 and setting it equal to the in values plus the out values, right? We would get the difference equation x sub n minus x sub n minus 1 is equal to 0.03 x sub n minus 1 plus 0.04 or minus, rather, because it's going out, 0.04x sub n minus 1. The difference, differential equation is going to be built exactly the same way. Again, we're going to have the derivative over here instead of the difference. And instead of 0.03 times x sub n minus 1, it's just going to be 0.03x minus 0.04x. Okay, so there's no longer any x sub n minus 1s because we're no longer thinking about things in terms of discrete time steps. This is the derivative based on x at any point, okay? And so that's going to give us a continuous um, model, okay? So you can have more complicated um, systems of, uh, of diagrams, right? So if you have something like a state diagram, let's look at a state diagram where we've got multiple variables, so like x, y, and z, maybe you've got 0 0.03, 1 1.2, uh, 2, 0 0.5, 1.7, something like this. You've got three variables here. So when we did this with uh, difference equations, we got three equations. We're going to have three equations here. We're going to have one for dx dt, one for dy dt, and one for dz dt. And we can just read off what those equations are on the basis of what's going in and out of our diagram. So dx dt, we're going to get 0 0.03. Um, actually, let me... Um, yeah, I'm going to leave off the arrow going in and out because in terms of continuous, that actually doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, so if you've got 0.03x going in, that's going to give you a minus 0.03x. If you are a plus 0.03x, if you've got it going out, that's going to give you a minus 0.03x. So in a continuous model, that's actually not going to change anything, right? Because it's going in and out. So the state diagrams that we use, we generally won't have arrows like that that go in and out. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to subtract off anything going out. So minus 1.2x, minus 0.5x, and plus 2z. That's going to be our differential equation for dx um, dt. Uh, for dy dt, we've got coming in 1.2x plus 1.7z. And for dz dt, we've got coming in 0.5x, and we're losing minus 2z minus 1.7z. Okay? And so all of these different pieces going in and out um, add up, and you get the uh, differential equations for your state diagram. Okay, so in the next lecture, we're going to talk about some other, some types of differential equations that we can work with relatively easily. 
um, and talk a little bit about solutions um, and some particular special kinds of differential equations that we'll see.